I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Solitaire is when you play four hands at one time. It's a great way to practice decision making, but you have to be able to compartmentalize because you see everybody's tiles. If you can do that, there's much that can be learned in a game of solitaire. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we'll look at each player's hand and decide where the strengths lie. Hopefully we'll be able to pick out a category to play, maybe even a hand. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. We have a pair of flowers, news. We have a pair of sevens and a nine in cracks. Two, eight, pair of eights in dots. And then we have a three bam and an eight bam. These were your tiles. What would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around multiples, seven, eight. So I would play something consecutive with flowers. News though, that's almost like a Kong but we can't do both seven, eight and news unless we were to play a pair hand, in which case we'd have to let flowers go because the news pair hand doesn't use flowers. So we could either play news with flowers, maybe a year hand, north and south with the year, we'd have to let two wins go. But really for flexibility, I'm thinking seven, eight, nine consecutive run. There are only two hands with flowers, a one suit hand, and then there's a hand in one suit or mixed suits. But we could play seven, eight, nine in mixed suits or six, seven, eight in mixed suits. That would use all these multiples. So I probably would pass those and I think I would start breaking up the wins. One thing we could do is keep either north and south or east and west with the two and play the news year hand under the wind and dragon category, second hand from the bottom. That would mean we'd have to pass two wins together, but we would have these tiles here. The other thing we could do is maybe let the nine go and focus on mixed suits. So either play north and south with the year, which would use the flowers, or seven, eight, hoping for either a six bam or nine bam. Or we could focus on like numbers with either sevens or eights. This was tough with these multiples and news together. That was a bit of a challenge, but I think I would let those go and see what happens here. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as South. Flower, North, Green, Red, four, eight, nine in BAMs, seven dot, one, three, eight in cracks with a pung of threes. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass?
I would build around these threes. We might be able to play one, three, five dragon or maybe a quint. If we're holding threes, I think I would keep the four for something consecutive. So I would let these go. Maybe we could. Oh, I don't want to be left with like numbers. Oh, goodness. There, pass those. Probably consecutive run. Or if we get more threes, we could do like numbers or maybe one, three, five. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. Jokers, flower, pair of east, nine crack, four, five, nine dot, one, two, four bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the east and probably play a wind and dragon hand. There is a year hand in there too, and we do have fours. So I think I would maybe hold the fours, see if like numbers comes in. Oh, we don't need that. We could maybe do like numbers with nines. We have two tiles to pass. We have a two four here. So I think what I would do is pass one of each suit and keep the two four, or maybe a year hand with wins. News concealed with the year, maybe. Let's see what we can do for player four, also known as North. Jokers, three, seven, and bams. One, four, five, six, and cracks, pair of fours. One, three, four, and dots with a pair of ones. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would start here. Four, five, six. Maybe keep consecutive tiles. Three, four, five, six. We might be able to play four, five, six, seven, eight if we get eight dots. But look what we're left with. That I would not pass. We have pair fours, five, six. I think I would probably let these go and break this up, pass one of each suit, or maybe break up the pair of ones. The only way we could use the four with ones in different suits is if we play one, two, three, four, one through four, one through five in mixed suits, and we have no two and no three crack. I think that's what I would do there. So let's do the Charleston. First, right, east to south, south to west, west to north, north to east. One, three, four. We have big numbers. We did get a one, one, two, north, south. Here's west from our other, our beginning point really with news. Let's pass that. We don't really need those, I don't think. I would stick with this. Three, we have another three. Ooh, like numbers with threes right there. No gaps. Now, one thing we might do is 369. 369 in there. We could let those go. I think I'd probably let these go too. 369 or like numbers with threes. We got a north. Maybe wins. 
Let's pass one of each suit. We have a five, three, five, four, five. We've got all these ones. Look at all those ones. I'm going to reassess here fours. I think I would let the one go and this seven nine. We might be able to use the one if we can fill in the gap between one and four. We can pass those. All right, we are going across. We did get a keeper, seven, eight, nine, mixed suit, second hand down on the right. I would focus on consecutive tiles and let these go. Pass those. Focus on big numbers. Three, six, nine, coming in. We need a six in here, but we might still be able to play like numbers with threes. I would pass those three, maybe mix that up just a little. Two suits instead of one suit. Oh, we have a West. Here's a two, three, four. Oh, all these jokers. I would not play a, a pair hand there. I would probably focus on the wins, keep the two, and let these go. Maybe a year hand or news hand. We picked up a one. One, four, five, six. There's a four in there. There's another one. We could pass those. I just wonder if we should switch to little odds, but this is not a very good look. Ones, three, five, five, no three crack. I think consecutive is better. Let's let the one bam go. All right, so now we're going to do first left. East to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. Okay, we have a seven and an eight. Seven, eight, seven, eight, eight. If we can get a seven, bam, we could play that consecutive pair hand. We don't have any jokers. Let's pass those. This is a little bit risky. Okay, we have a three. Three, dragon, three, dragon, nines, and a four. We have a pair in there now. I'd, I'd play like numbers with threes, so I would break this up. That way we're not stuck with a pair as we're building this. Here we have one, two, four. We have an east. I would keep the two for year potential, but we have pairs in there, so I probably would pass that. This is pretty risky, though news we can use these for the missing south i would risk it it's not like we have much of a choice we'd have to break up our wins to pass more defensively we're on first left so we're getting ready to do second left we could stop the charleston but we have four discards i wouldn't do that i would keep going We keep getting ones. Here's a four though. Three, four, five, four, five, six. North and one. I think I would let this three go. These ones are not helpful. Four, five, four, five, four, five. I think I probably would break up the pair. 
because it's just not coming in. So we are now going into second left. We have a nine and guess what we picked up? Seven. We have a pair hand going on here. No gaps. And we're in second left. We're gonna have to pass like numbers, but we have a pair hand here. Or we're building a pair hand. I would risk it. Now we have one, two, four. That kind of fits in nicely right here. One, two, three, four. That's kind of why you don't want to pass one suit. Threes. Let's pass those three. Maybe keep the two. I don't think so, though. Like numbers with threes looks really good. Oh, look, we got a north. And we have tiles we can pass. News. Okay, now we have one, two, one, two, four, five, four, five, six, one south, one, two. We could do one, two, three, four. That's a gap, though. Four, five, four, five. If we get a six bam, we could maybe play the concealed hand. I think I would pass the two, keep the six see what happens. All right, we're going across. Like numbers. Oh my goodness. Let's see now. Oh, oh, this is a mess. I think was this here and these up here. All right, let's figure it out. That was a mulligan. We're going to start over. We have 994 419 143. That is intact. So here we go. No keepers. One, two, south. Two, three. Nines. Got a nine and a one and a four. Four, five. Fours. One, nine. No, I really would not pass like numbers if I didn't have to. Maybe we could break up that one dot pair. All right, so that was across. Now we're going to do last right. So east to south, south to west, west to north. We have a nine crack. We're working on a pair hand though. Third one down. Keeper, three dot, like numbers. South, now we have no gaps. Oh, we have a pair now, four, five, four, five, six, ones, nines. I think what I would do is probably pass two. We are on optional cross. They have two. Two and two. Two and two. No keepers. No keepers. No keepers. <laughs> no keepers. All right, we are done with the Charleston. If you'd like, you can be the fifth player. Pause the video. Look at everybody's hand 
and decide who you think will win the game. Write your guess in the comments section below and include the reason why you think they have the best chance. I'll do the same thing using this better. I'm going to put my bet right here. We're going to use this to mark whose turn it is. I got this at Modern Mahjong. Mahjong dice. Isn't that cute? Here we go. We're going to discard for East. We have three discards. I'm taking this pair hand. Let's start by discarding a one dot. Nobody wants it. Seven dot. We have threes, dragons, one, two, four. We have a pung of threes there. I was thinking we could play two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, single pair, pung, kong. We'd have to throw away a pung of threes, though. Let's start by discarding these big numbers. Nine crack. There's a two. Let's let that nine crack go. Ooh, ones. Boy, ones. Let's let the nine go. East. We're not playing wins. It's this player's turn. This player could take that, but with these other tiles, I don't think I would. East and, uh, let's see, east and west with the year, second hand from the bottom. We would need these twos and white dragons, which we have no white dragons. If we were to commit to that hand, we could Kong that and then use these for the Kong here. But then we'd have to throw away a pair of Norths. I would rather stay concealed, try for the concealed hand. Let's draw. One bam. One, two, three, four. Let's let the seven dot go. One dot. North. We don't need winds. This is concealed. Nine bam. That's out. We're focused on a pair hand. White dragon. Well, we could maybe focus on like numbers. We'd have to let something go, but there's a possibility there. We have one, two, three. One, two, three. Because of this pong, I would let the four go. Eight crack, four bam was just discarded. We don't need it up here, not now anyway. Wow, this player keeps getting ones. Nine dot. Flower, oh, we don't need it. Look at all these flowers, we're playing a pear hand. We really don't need all these flowers. We don't need these either, though. Let's let the one crack go. Six bam. There's some three, six, nine, but we also have consecutive potential. Six bam. Four crack. 
Let's discard eight crack. Seven dot. Nine bam has been discarded. Joker. Okay. Threes. Like numbers with threes, maybe dragons. Let's let these go. Two bam. Maybe we can use that for Joker bait. Later in the game, we can discard one and maybe someone else will pick one up with a exposure with a Joker and we could use the other one to get that Joker. You never know. Five crack. Let's keep the two for year potential. Four crack. Up here, we have to make some kind of choice. Either stay concealed or take it. I don't even know what hand to play here. I wouldn't take it. If we can get a two, three crack, we might be able to use that. I, I would let that go. Eight bam. We're concealed here. Here's six, seven, eight. Let's let this two go. That doesn't fit at all. Probably need to let a flower go. Here's a two, but we really do have a good potential here for like numbers, so I would discard that. Four crack. Five dot, okay, now four, five, four, five. If we can get a six bam, we could play the concealed hand. Let's discard one dot. That was the last tile in the second wall. So we're going into the third wall now, middle game. Red dragon, that's not at all helpful. We have seven, seven, seven though. Let's let the six crack go. Nine crack. Those are out. Five bam, five. We'll let the five bam go. Five bam. Wow, look at that. Four, five, four, five. Let's let one bam go. Five crack. Oh my gosh, this is just not really happening very well for this player here. Oh, painful. Two dot. This is a struggle too. Okay, we need a keeper. Well, that's a two, a year hand potential. Five crack. Everybody's struggling. Red dragon. Maybe we should switch to like numbers with fours. Let's let one crack go. Eight bam. We already have an eight bam. What we need is a seven bam and a seven dot. There's a seven dot out right now. Two seven dots are out. We need another plan here to fall back on. Maybe like numbers with all these flowers or like numbers with eights. Let's let the red dragon go. Five bam. Two crack. Let's let two dot go. So that we could maybe try for this year hand. If we can get a white dragon, we can use this for the west and then we just need a south. We'd have to discard a joker. So let's just see what happens. 
three crack. Now we get a three, but of course we need a two and we let a one go. Okay, so the five bams are out. Let's let that one go. West. Okay, so the here, east and west. If we Kong that west, we could use this for the east and play the year hand, east and west with twos. But that's gonna be risky because we have no white dragon. None have been discarded, but what are the chances that we would draw one white dragon to help us get ready? I don't think I would risk it. I would rather stay concealed and bank on drawing well. Let's draw. Nine dot. West. Let's just card two crack. Okay, so that worked out well. We can use those for the souths. This could go somewhere in there. We need a flower, of course. Six bam! Oh my gosh, that was a good pick. Four, five, four, five. These we can use in here, six bam. Let's let this red dragon go. Four, five, four, five, six bam. Pung, 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 pair. Seven. We need a seven dot or a seven bam. There are two seven dots out. Let's keep the eights since the seven dots are out. We could fall back on like numbers with eights. <gasps> Joker. Joker. Okay, let's let these ones go. One bam. Okay, now we need a keeper. Eight dot. Okay, now what we need here is a flower. Down here, we could take that eight for a pung, maybe play the quint-like number hand, but I, I don't think I would do that. I'd rather stick it out with this pear hand. Okay, let's draw. Two bam. Nine crack, those are out. Eight dot. I would stick this out here. We don't need a flower there. Okay this player's turn. Six crack. Okay, we need a six bam up here. Two bam. Oh, I probably should have thrown that six crack. Six dot. Three dot. All right, I would let these dragons go and I would focus on threes. Let's discard one, bam. Three, bam. Okay, it's this player's turn, but we're gonna Kong. First exposure with a joker. We're gonna discard white dragon. And it's this player's turn. Oh, keeper, <laughs> nice. Two crack. Now, they're ready to win on a flower. We can use that there, that there, and this here. Ready to win on a flower. Four dot is a keeper. We need that six bam. Let's discard one crack. Five dot.
south. We're concealed here. Green dragon. Flower. We don't need it. Flower. And that is Mahjong right here. Mahjong. Concealed news hand discarded by this player. They did not need flowers. They were going for that concealed hand. And we're getting to the end of the middle game, so I would discard that flower now. Who did you bet on? I was between this player and this player, and I bet on West. I bet on the right player. So I would get paid just like this player. This player and this player would pay both of us 30 points. This player would pay both of us 60 points because they discarded the winning tile and they would ha have to pay double. Those jokers really helped. A couple of the players in this game of solitaire were set up pretty well at the beginning of the game and then the other two players hands really developed nicely. It was a tight race I think but those jokers in the hand for West really helped. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.